In this video, you'll learn about the main page of Old Data Mobile, and you'll learn three ways to select a vehicle using the Old Data Mobile application. After launching the Old Data Mobile app, you'll get the main page. There are two primary sections on the main page. The left section contains vehicle information, and the right side contains data entry fields, or after selecting a vehicle, it'll list information categories to choose from. This icon lets you view application settings, or go to the Old Data support page to contact Old Data. There are three ways to select a vehicle. You can select a previously selected vehicle, select a new vehicle, or enter the vehicle's VIN. Continue watching to see how to do each of these. This icon allows you to connect and disconnect to the vehicle's computer after connecting an OBD2 device to the vehicle's OBD2 port. If you connect to the vehicle in this manner, there is no need to manually select the vehicle. Old Data Mobile will detect the information for you. This process is shown in detail in the Vehicle Connectivity video. The mobile app holds the last 20 vehicles that were entered. You can scroll through the list to view them and tap on the vehicle to recall it. From this page, you can navigate to the information you want for the selected vehicle. Another way to enter vehicle data is to use the VIN lookup feature. So tap the Select button, then the VIN field, manually enter the vehicle's VIN using the keypad to enter the characters. Typically the first 10 characters are all that are needed. Alternately, depending on the tablet you're using, you can use the camera to scan the VIN barcode and it will automatically populate for you. Select the vehicle and you're ready to go. Now a third way to select a vehicle is to tap the Select New button on the left. Then use the drop-down menus to select the year, make and model and selecting the correct engine from those available. We'll select a 2010 Chevy Camaro. Then choose the 6.2 litre engine. And once you've selected a vehicle, several more icons are available on the left. The repair button gives you several options. Use the vehicle button to return to the vehicle selection screen. You can also access shortcuts to popular information categories such as diagnostic trouble codes, technical service bulletins and maintenance information. The Diagnose button allows you to view vehicle computer data. These two options allow you to view any DTCs or freeze frame data that's been previously stored for this specific vehicle, even if you're not connected to it. Now, other selections in this drop down become illuminated when a vehicle is connected, and these are covered in the vehicle connectivity video. Now, the search button allows you to do a general search for information on the selected vehicle. The community button illuminates if there is information pertaining to the selected vehicle. The number indicates how many articles there are, so tap the button to view the articles. Click on a question line item to view the complete article. In this video, we discussed the main page and its icons and showed three ways to enter a vehicle. Now be sure to watch the other videos in this series which cover how to use these features and connect to the vehicle using an OBD2 connector to perform diagnostic procedures and sensor monitoring. Thanks for watching.